We're gonna get into some festivities today. You ever have uh, those friends that are just like, uh, uh, what do you call that, a bad influence? Yeah. Well, I have been slowly, uh, from the green car on, trying out different vehicles. Got to drive that one, which is awesome, but not quite what I'm after. This one. This is uh, a Steeda, which was awesome, but uh, not enough road fuel. Falcon? Awesome. Classic car. Love the sights, love the sounds, love the smells, but not sporty enough necessarily at this stage. This car, still not together. Still not together. Have no idea. Maybe that thing's awesome. I didn't get to. But then we got to one of these. This particular car. This car had me laughing my ass off the entire time, even not running well. Uh, and I just said, I need one of these. So I'm going to be broke for God knows how long. So next thing you know, uh, Mason was nice enough to want my green V6 Mustang and take it off my hands. Well, he took it off my hands. Next thing you know, scrolling on the old marketplace, found this Mustang, and we'll get back to what that ended up like. All right? <laughs> Oh, man. So you know, we're we're going to have some camera issues today. Quirks aren't quirks. It's the fact of the camera they have. Yeah, the car has less quirks than the camera does at this point. The camera is like, fuck you, get upgrade. And I'm like, nah, I, I want I want to spend all my money here right now. I don't really want to spend it all on here right now. Sorry. Oh, all right. So what's behind door number one? Right under here, it's different because of the yeah. fact. Looks neat, though. See, I'm not, okay, I'm not crazy. No, no it's, crazy. it's just different because this is. All right. Oh, look at that. So, you know, it tells you where to put it. Put your prop right there. Okay. Come on, small, small block 302. Yeah. You got that? No, I don't. I know nothing. You will. I will you have will. to. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah. All right, so uh, continuing into the, uh, the engine bay here. So... Got a Performer 5.0, is what it says on here. Uh, good news, bad news, I don't really know. Um, just a simple Edelbrock top end, mm -hmm. as far as it goes for the intake. Uh, the most that we know as far as the valve covers, they say Joker on them, kinda cool, maybe not. Mm. Eh, probably rip them off. Mm. By the time we have to even open the motor up, it's already leaking anyways. We'll have to look at the valve covers and pull them off and see what's actually going on with them mm. because we wanna know what rockers are on inside of that. Um, I'm noticing rust right here, this right here, this is broken off, it's supposed to look like that. We also noticed, I don't know and if we got a th th this is This is fine, that, that, that's okay. That means something was just sitting, like introducing um, water in the top. But there's top no holes in the hood for it to introduce water there. Yeah, wherever that, yeah, but that's fine. I mean, you're not going to get any water leakage out of that side as far as pressurization to go that direction yeah. without a giant leak. Another thing we noticed, we got Maxim Motorsports caster camper plates and an adjustable AGXs, but they had to cut a hole in here for them to work. Um, I guess to go over the car a little bit itself, I know the lighting's not the best in here, but it has improved. Um, got the Steeda shifter. I'll probably have to change it, but I mean, this thing's stripped out. This thing was uh, basically a box of rocks on the freeway <laughs> rattling away. Um, Wait, hold on. Not not to forget the whole church up thing. But this whole entire car has slits all the way around as far as that goes. Yeah, for yeah. Driving it down the road. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's check it out. G Force. What are these? Uh, R1s? R1s. They are straight up slicks. I mean, they're on. They're... <laughs> well, this tire itself is dated for. 2015. One was dated for I think 2010. 2010. 2011. Get my flashlight out. <laughs> 2011. So yeah, old, very old. I don't know. Maybe slicks age differently. Y'all tell me in the comments. I don't know. Um, another one. This intake here is a like a hobbled together unit. Is what you were saying? Yeah, it's kind of cobbled together as far as it all goes. Okay. Yeah. He said this is an upgraded throttle body, but it doesn't look like the one that's on your car. It says BBK. The throttle body is different for sure because the and also random as shit is the fact that that TPS actually has a secondary adjustable side of it, which is super weird. You don't okay. need that much adjustment for them. Uh huh. But you know, if that's what your problem problems with, then sure, fine, fair. 
Um, I do notice that it had AC that's been removed, but the heater core, it's even got like upgraded hoses. These yeah. even looked upgraded. You have all the upgraded, like, L you went to LMR and you're like, hey, cool, I don't need all of my silicon hoses. Oh, Without I looked in the receipts. He's an eBay guy. Oh, he played the eBay game. He loves well, eBay. That's even scarier than, well, sort of. Fun with that. Yeah. Because the moment one of those goes bye bye, you're going to have a good time. Yeah, something I got to go yeah, over they, as they well. Tie off the, the whole situation for the power. My story. favorite thing to do with all of mine is to keep all the stickers. This car has seen some autocross, which is neat. I do like that. Uh, it's not everybody's thing, but I like that it's done something. The hatch doesn't look like it was from this car originally. You can tell the two different colors of paint here. Um, but overall, not too bad. So the next thing to do though is to get it in the air, get the wheels off of it, and inspect all of that, those parts that were said to be on here that are unproven currently, and kind of see where we're at. Because the rear is higher than the front, and he said that it had, you know, like stock springs, which the only way that would make sense is if they're heated or cut. I don't know. Um, it has adjustable fronts. I have receipt for adjustable fronts, but I don't have adjustable rears as far as what I saw on the receipts. So just kind of getting a fact finding mission to get a parts list together for this car. Uh, yeah, we'll go there. Isn't there a joke about that? Isn't it like the loudest, the loudest? Yeah. Can I upgrade that? Yeah, it's time to go to the snap-on dealership there, buddy. <laughs> I can only afford the snap-off dealership, not the snap-on dealership. <laughs> you catch me a Harbor Freight. All right, she is in the air. First thing I noticed, her whole subframe connector is super rusty. But, you know, they come with it. What's up? There's like half of like a burnt thread on the end of that one. Ah, you know, it did... It's got torque. Uh, how far was that? 230, 240 miles? We went 247 miles. 247 miles. Yeah, On so. slicks with an alignment that has a whole bunch of toe out. And um, I'm sorry. On slicks. Yeah. Slick slicks. On the front and the rear. Yes. Um, so send it is definitely the, um, the, the whole tale of yesterday. And, oh, and the other part. Didn't we forget to do something? yesterday that was like really crucial yeah so when we were screwing around checking out all the whole entire car we're like cool great sounds amazing let's fucking do it mm -hmm. and then about 100 miles down the drive i was like uh jared needs to pull over he's gonna grab gas and i was like hey dude since you're grabbing gas we should probably check the oil yeah you know didn't check the oil didn't check the coolant level <laughs> put gas in it and just fucking went on slicks and the part that was making me nervous was that rain was coming in up here up north and originally we were gonna go stop and get something to eat. And that was when I was gonna start filming instead of like trying to get approval and all that from the guy who was selling it to me. Um, and yeah, I just fucking sent it. <laughs> what's up? What, what's our find here? These may oh. or may not be. No, they're all they're all good. That's that's, Th that's normal? That, that seemed yeah. pretty normal. Just look. I mean, it seems pretty normal. Huh? Doesn't seem normal to me, I mean. Those <laughs> I'm gonna walk away. You have fun with what you can figure out that one there. Uh, okay. It's pretty easy. It's pretty simple. Just go ahead and wiggle that rotor. Tell me what moves it should move. See what happens. Bro, it's got Cobra brakes on it. I mean, it's got to be the best shit ever, right? What will we find? Oh, it's got the quad shot. Oh, yeah, go ahead, grab it. Let's see if it wiggles. <laughs> it wiggles that way. That's oh, see? It should, but this doesn't. It's not supposed to. There are cuts right here. Yeah. That's, That's hey. quality. Hey, you want your spring? It's right here. Um, <laughs> oh, well, we look, look, we're on a fact finding <laughs> mission, and boy, did we find it. I knew this was gonna happen. Like you understand, like after driving it. Well, this is bad. This is like way worse than what. Like, cool, great car, fucking. Awesome. What are you talking about? This is, this, Why awesome. is this way worse than you thought? This is fun. We 
way worse than you thought. This this is exactly what I thought oh, was going to happen. Oh, because those are torque springs. Like that's exactly what Home Slice did. He didn't. They fucking, rode really fucking good. He didn't buy the hundred and fifty dollars springs that drops at the two inches. You didn't spend that money. You just torch one coil and it drops out. <laughs> wait, the moment wait, wait. the moment you would have hit one of those big fucking corners and went boom. That spring could have shot the fuck out. Now I went the car. opposite direction. Yes. At a rate of speed. Oh, and this alignment would have shot me into the. Oh, and it would have taken you in the other direction. So again, car would have been. Hey, I'm going this way, and hey, by the way, the alignment goes that direction. Yeah. Oh fuck. Like I said, I drove like a bitch. It was a good move. Who knew? Dude, we we like in between Myrtle Creek and all that shit. Like you were talking about the big hills right before we started getting like the Siskiyous and shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> Those, those are bad corners. Like, the moment we got right off the exit mm -hmm. is the most dangerous corner on I-5, which is literally a 45-degree corner mm -hmm. that they tell everyone, like, you slow the fuck down. There's been so many semi-trucks that have wrecked right there at exit, like, 100. He, he did that on-ramp at, like, dumb, at dumb speeds in yeah. his car. Yeah, hey, with this. With this. Yeah. Told you. They fox bought his butt. They just, yeah, they just it's just great. They just work, you know. They do the thing. <laughs> can't I can't say that it's always good, but they do the no, thing. No, no, you're right. This is why I'm glad I didn't push the order button last night on LMR, because I'm gonna need money for other things than I thought. Ow. What are you doing? Oh, what, are you, what are you doing? Oh, why? You said you were good. Then you started he manning it. Why'd you do that? Because it needs to go out of the rear. Oh, why did it need to go outside of the rear that bad? Oh, see? Nothing's wrong with this. What is wrong with this spring? It's still cut. It's still well, been cut. Yeah, they've been cut. Yeah. Still no, cut. no, no. That's that's how... Yeah, no, it's definitely been cut. You're right. They're talking about a little cheddar mark. Right? Yeah, he cut like at least yeah. a length out of that thing. Mark. Don't get me wrong. The rear right They're $150, dude. SBE sells them. Right. Two-inch lowering ones. I know. Easy. But you were right. You said that he was penny pinching. Well, his words said one thing and his receipts tell another story that's why you always investigate the receipts say i penny pinch on ebay which is fine that's all good but then i'm gonna get the idea that maybe you penny pinched in other areas the other side of that bar looks pretty good i love this cover the cover looks pretty cool probably not a big deal for most of y'all but There's what we did find is <laughs> this i don't know what the fuck's going on there and then what is this the hose clamp holding that on on this side which i don't know how questionable that is and then check then out the booger welds huh the booger welds of like no spots right here for this pan hard to go i can't see the truth look at that there oh. you go right there yeah what that's, that's lovely about? Nice. that looks fine mm-hmm yeah uh, church go sure yeah but yeah no oh, wow the uh the fuel filter looks freshly replaced oh yeah not like brand new but like not old um, let's go check these booger welds out. Ah, oh, those are fine. That's fine. They're double stacked. I don't think they can be Maxim because Maxim just gives you a bolt on kit. Which else? Oh yeah. X5, baby. Hey, it's definitely scraped on some Wait. shit. <laughs> By the way, banging ass fucking exhaust. Like that's fucking legit and cool. Uh -huh. He said H bite. That's not H bite. That's, that's an X bite. Oh yeah, that's what I noticed. Yeah. Did you notice the headers are definitely long tubes? Those are definitely not shorts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, we knew uh, that from the beginning. You can see the new bushing that he bought for the transmission. That looks good. I might have to get in there. Yeah, the, this is weird. These are OBXs. Yeah, this is funny because it makes that car so fucking quiet. <laughs> Like I said, I like that part, which is why I'm terrible. <laughs> uh -huh. Look how not fucked up this is. This isn't all fucked up from smashing into shit. Brand new steering rack, by the way. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I got the tag here if you want it. Oh, okay. Oh, look at the engine mounts. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> probably a car down or some bullshit. Yeah, probably. Dude, check out the engine mounts. Did you look at those? Uh -uh. Look at those guys. Look, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh! Oh, he cut the fuck out of those. Are they solid mounts? They must or am be. I tripping. No, those have to be solid. Those are solid butter mounts. Dude. Yeah, that thi this thing doesn't, like, it's not that bad. It rattles the ever living shit out of everything. That oh, makes so well, much more.
making sense now. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah get rid of these, dude. Get rid of those. They're garbage. They're fucking junk. Yeah. Okay. Well, again, um, where I can buy new ones in a box, then cool. But I'm not just gonna go buy some random old junk. Yeah. And then you've got. I don't like these. Don't get me wrong. They look cool, but I mean, I need something new in a box that's new. Yeah. No, so get rid of that. Drive, please. Put stop for it, chin, right? Um, pans have never been melts. like pans have never been touched. Okay. As far as all of that, it doesn't goes. seem to leak that bad. Mm. No, kinda... and this where you think the rear I mean, main is not rear main. Am I wrong that those aren't solid? Because those look like just a, just a what, solid. What piece. That, dude, we already agreed they're solid. Let me check over here. I, can I, got, see. I got a better view on this side. Yeah, they're solid. Sorry, I can see both sides. Or is it? This one right? I mean, it looks it looks like there's no pushing. It's literally the right. Yeah, you have solid motor mounts, dude. Those are solid motor mounts. <laughs> That makes so much more sense. I talk so much shit about people doing this, and now I know why. <laughs> I have not changed my mind one goddamn bit. Oh my God, mean? when's the last time that fucking shit's been changed? <laughs> Perlators haven't been around for a minute. What do you mean? They got They're bought out for a long. Yeah, they got bought out a long time ago. It's a date on it. It's got a label. Yeah, it's right here. Oh, what but did I say twenty. <laughs> <laughs> it says twenty, dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's been a little while since Perlator. Um, Perlator is still a thing. You can still buy them. Yeah, but, but Perlator got bought out. So, by a but but Uber in con Fighter. but in conclusion, I just drove this shit box 250 <laughs> miles with solid motor mounts, cut springs, <laughs> eBay underdrive pulley. Didn't check the oil. Hasn't been changed since 2020. Oh. Um, what else was it? Uh, oh, the, the brakes are, are questionable. The wheel bearing is fucked up on that side. The alignment was out of spec. Um, and on four slicks that are 10 years old. Whew! All right. So uh, I should have filmed all of that, and I didn't, because that would have been just the thing. It would have been gold, but yeah, here we are. <laughs> it's just so weird. Everybody yeah. fucked these fucking cars up. But... And not and including I'm me still, too. I'm I fucked them up too. I'm still completely lost as to how awesome it drives that bad. So it makes me think when it's like on kill set up well, it's gonna be a riot. Well, and I keep repeating <clears throat> myself about this, and they do unfortunately do that. Just mm -hmm. even bone stock, fucking all the suspension, man. You're you're in it. The the one thing that you miss is the pan hard bar. The rest of the car just they will handle. They like fucking eating RPM. 302s just love to do it. The T5s are garbage, and they are what they are. Oopsies. Yeah, there's no more gasket in here. That there is no gasket in there. There is no gasket. Uh, uh, oh, it's uh, left. Well, there was a gasket at one point in yeah. time. It exited the chat. Hmm. So that's where you're getting all of that from. Gotcha. Is there a thing of beauty? Those headers. I keep, I keep looking at them. Like, like everything that you is like wrong with this car it makes me wonder if the previous owner before they got it like spent money on the engine yeah, and I, then and then th these guys well, spent we, money to try to road race it have we looked at like the engine receipts like there's the year dates there the only the only receipts that he has is the heads and that's 2017. i mean because somebody just cared enough to put this whole top in together yep didn't care enough to go ahead and take the smog pump off of the car. Right. But that's the same then, as that mount you're talking about, the hanger on the transmission. Yeah. It's just kind of odd. And had no need to dick around with the EGR. They literally put the EGR back together to make it work. Yeah. Like, all of that is back together with the Edelbrock intake. Like, you should have just been like, you know what? If I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it. But somebody was paying attention and said, hey... I need to pass emissions. I need to make all of this work. Why I do this? This car has no emissions pass or fail slips, though. Yeah, well, EGR in smog pump says a different thing. Nothing that makes this thing like super bad. <laughs> but uh, <sighs> she's definitely, definitely rich. <laughs> Well, I think for right now it gives us an idea of what I'm going to go through all these long cuts and see if I can do anything with them, but got kind of a, hopefully got kind of a vibe for well, what we right bought. <laughs>